and the other news on cash found. Well, Congress MP Sandeep Dixit has denied that a bag with 10 lakh rupees again in cash just found in a coupe that he was travelling in is his. The bag was found by a railway attendant on the Delhi Bhopal train in which Sandeep Dixit was travelling in the same coupe. It was on his berth. The railway police says that it was uh, found there. It was actually left behind by him and his attendants. And an honest attendant found the bag, gave it to the railway police, who traced it back. To Mr. Dixit's birth. Uh, birth, however, Sandeep Dixit has said that the bag was not his, it was given to him by a friend for safekeeping who was travelling in the same train. Well, uh, joining me now from Bhopal is Sandeep Dixit, uh, Congress MP and of course the son of the Chief Minister of Delhi, Sheila Dixit. Mr. Dixit, how do you respond? 10 lakhs in cash found in your birth. How did that actually happen? You see, there's a friend of mine, uh, JSG, he was uh, carrying this money to Bhopal for some uh, investment of his and, uh, uh, you know, we went together uh, the train and when he came, you know, we were chatting and he came to my compartment and, you know, we knew that, uh, you know, he was also coming. So he said that I've got some valuables with me, I'm going to Bhopal, can you keep it in a coupe then rather than in the A1 compartment, which is not very safe. So I said, fair enough, you keep your stuff here. In fact, he kept that bag and one suitcase of also which he had his clothes and all there. And that was that in the morning we got up and got off at the Habibban station and uh, you know, by some silly mistake it just got left behind which is why this whole uh, controversy came up. Silly mistake but interestingly in fact that honest uh, railway attendant actually gave that, all that money to the police. But Sandeep Tikshit, the question has been raised about the amount of money found in cash. Did you know that there was 10 lakh rupees in cash in that bag that your friend asked you to keep? No, I didn't know it was so much, but he did say he's carrying some money, he's making some investments here, and that was that. And you know, I spoke to JC subsequently. In fact, he's gone on a lot of television channels to say that uh, you know he can account for this money, he can show where it has come from. So it's there's no problem with regard to the source of that money. No, but, but you know, uh, that's something JSG will answer. Well, of course, uh, uh, Mr. Dixit, you're saying no problem, but the fact is that he did not have a RBI receipt to carry so much money, and as an MP. Shouldn't you have been more responsible? I mean, for a person to carry so much money in cash, whether it's your friend, whether the uh, charge that it is in your birth, is irresponsible? How can someone carry so much cash without uh, sh any documents showing where the source is from? You know, I know that. I mean, if it was some, uh, I mean, I didn't know that uh, you need some kind of a permission like that to carry so much money. But, you know, I didn't first of all know that it was 10 lakhs. He said there is money and he kept it there. And you know, then you know, like a friend asks you for something, you keep it there and you keep chatting. And I don't think we even discussed how much money it was. And whether it is you need an RBI receipt or you need some other provision for carrying this money, I think uh, JSG is competent enough to answer that and I'm sure he will. Right, but wouldn't you, uh, sir, as an MP, ask why somebody was carrying this much money in cash, even if it was for an investment, as your friend has said, or to buy a house, why wasn't he carrying a cheque? Why was he carrying so much money in cash? I am, I mean, you can call that as my mistake, but I didn't ask these questions. You know, he's a friend, I've known him for a long time. So I didn't I make any further queries. I thought he must be carrying his money for something. You know, and he said he's making some investment. And if I'd known that, <clears throat> I mean, uh, if there is a law like this, then I'm, I mean, it's a mistake that I'm not aware of that. But very frankly, there was nothing malified, I think, either in his carrying it or at least in my keeping the money there, you know. And that was that, you know, I think it's a mistake but uh, you know I'm paying for that mistake because it's my name that's being dragged in the news. But what would you say sir to your detractors who say that this is an easy way out for you to say it's your friend's money that it's actually your money and that uh, this friend is just a front what would you say to your detractors who are asking that question today? I mean it's not my money it's it's yeah it no 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 not at all it's JG's money I mean why should he otherwise have stated it's uh, his money after all he'll be responsible to the taxation authorities to show or whatever are the relevant authorities to show where he's got it from. So why should he take the blame for me in case it is not his? You know, I, and I think he will do that and he's uh, already, I know that he's answered all the press people who went to meet him in Bhopal. He's answered them fairly competently and he said that whatever questions are asked with regard to revenue or taxation authorities, he's willing to field those questions. Right. Well, Sandeep Dikshit, of course, the matter is now with the state police in Bhopal and they will investigate further. Thank you so much for joining me tonight with your clarifications on that. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis and much more. Download free NDTV.com slash apps.